Also, a group of Chicago friends traveling in Nice were caught in the middle of the violence there. CBS 2's Vince Girasoli spoke to them via FaceTime as they told him their survival story. Run. Run for our lives. That's what we did. We literally ran for our lives. Just seconds earlier, they were three friends snapping a selfie. All smiles at Bastille Day near Nice's promenade. People started screaming and they started running towards us. And I saw a woman's face and it looked like the world was ending. As the attacker rammed his truck into the crowds along the seaside, people began running for safety. It sounds like things changed in an instant. Oh, it was in a split second. It was crazy. A group of Chicago area girlfriends on a European adventure was caught in the thick of it. Turn around, we see this huge crowd of maybe, I don't know, thousands of people charging at us. Like the end of the world was happening. Like people were just like climbing over each other, like running as fast as they could. The women didn't speak French, didn't know what was happening, but they did know to seek cover, hurrying to a restaurant and barricading themselves in a bathroom. We hid with, um, eight other people, and it was very claustrophobic. The, the waitress fainted, there were kids there. It was, it was very traumatizing. I also texted my dad, just telling him, you know, hi, how are you? I didn't want to worry him. Didn't know what was going to happen, but I was expecting the worst. I was mentally preparing myself for the worst. An hour passed before workers told them it was safe to leave. Up to that point, they were six Chicago area women, mothers and daughters on a grand European tour, now doing their best to cope. Can't even believe they were actually hiding yesterday in a bathroom in a restaurant, praying for our lives. Very chilling moments for these women. And adding to their fears, not all of their group was together. There was a mother and an aunt and a sister that they couldn't reach. Fortunately, they are all now safe in their apartment that they're renting, and they're preparing to return to Chicago tomorrow. Erica, can you imagine texting your parent? Ugh at that moment saying you're okay but not really knowing you're okay. Right, it's got to be terrifying and for those families holding their, their breath probably waiting to hear that their relatives are okay or unfortunately getting the news that they're not. It's you know they were saying you know the seconds seemed like hours until they could all be together again. Yes, all right. Vince, thank you.